Hey, it's Jacob. Today we got Rush Hour Harmony, the Hamster Cantina, and it's Throwback Thursday. Over the past 15 weeks, we brought you around the world to show you conflicts and protests and unrest. Today, we bring you this. No need to adjust your TCP IP settings, ladies and gentlemen. You are seeing correctly. This indeed is a tiny hamster eating a tiny burrito. <laughs> An animal trainer reportedly worked with three different hamsters for three weeks to pull off this stunt. This is one of the biggest videos of the day, and rightly so. It's approaching three million views. You gotta go share this. My high school lacrosse career pretty much came to an end when I caught a ball smack under the eye and broke the bone. So it's safe to say I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with the sport. However, that is about to change because this mm, is so awesome. Major League Lacrosse is set to accept its first female player ever onto a team full of dudes. It's a groundbreaking thing for both games in terms of how a woman can transition over to the men's game. I think the biggest challenge is, you know, one, probably being completely comfortable, not only stopping the ball, but also, you know, being a voice and a leader because that's what the goalie position is. One of the biggest testaments I can give her is that I didn't notice when she was in goal, so that's a good thing. This is the first episode in a new series from The Whistle, which explores what it means to be a champion. Devin has already been picked up by the New York Lizards. We'll have to wait and see if she actually gets to play. Fingers crossed. One of my best friends, I saw him decapitated by a helicopter blade. And that, that was the one that got me. I knew something was not right emotionally. I couldn't put my finger on it. That's Bob Walker, a Vietnam veteran who's been suffering from PTSD for nearly 40 years. Bob's friend had just committed suicide and he knew that he had to find a better way to address his condition. And he found it in MDMA, the active ingredient in ecstasy. Two therapists started the MDMA therapy study in 2004, not just for war veterans, but anybody suffering from PTSD. And the results have really been eye-opening. Well, in our first study, basically in a nutshell, 25 5% of the people that got the therapy with placebo were basically free from PTSD at the end compared to 83% with MDMA. The study is currently in limited testing with the FDA. The goal is to eventually get approval so all PTSD victims can get help. <laughs> I don't have a ton to say about this next video, except that it made my day a whole lot better. This is the work of Project SH, a collaborative group of young Korean artists. It took hours of rehearsal to get the timing just right. This came out in March, but it's spiking right now. It's so charming and peaceful, I wish I had it on a loop to replace my digital fireplace. I'll be honest, when I was a kid, I had dreams that I was dating Penny from Inspector Gadget. Thank goodness Carrie Hope Fletcher made this video, making me feel a little less crazy for being in love with a fictional character. Somebody currently starring as Eponine in Les Mis in London, her argument might carry some weight. But Carrie's not just an actress and a musician, she's also a vlogger with nearly half a million subs, and this week, she wanted to talk about a common phrase that's become a pretty bad habit. I have always used the phrase, it's easier said than done, as an excuse for not doing something that I think is too much effort. I am now personally, in my own head, in my own life, replacing the saying, it's easier said than done, with nothing worth doing is ever going to be easy. Carrie releases new videos every couple days, so subscribe, and if you're in London, you gotta go see her live. I'd like to take you back to 2005, when four guys in six treadmills launched themselves into viral superstardom and also into my heart. OK Go had been around for a few years, but they didn't reach a major audience until this video, which is widely considered one of the first viral music videos ever made. The entire dance was choreographed by the lead singer's sister. It took them 17 tries to get it all in one tape. It really changed the game for music videos. It showed that we don't need big budgets and fancy effects to make something interesting. You just need a little bit of creativity and a couple treadmills. You know, OK Go actually won a Grammy for that video, and they got a new album coming out this year. Don't forget, guys, we're here every day, even Saturday. And this Saturday, we're bringing you the creepiest videos on the web, like this. <laughs> Is it gone? If you've seen something more haunting than that, please post a link to it in the comments. Now play us out. True. Oh, oh, oh.